When analyzing both discrete and continuous quantitative data, we generally discuss four main aspects, the center, the spread, the shape, and outliers. In this lesson, we will focus on measures of center. There are three widely accepted measures of center, the mean, the median, and the mode. To illustrate how each of these measures is calculated, consider this table of the number of dogs I see at the coffee shop in a week. From the table, we can see that on Monday, I saw five dogs. On Tuesday, I saw three dogs. On Wednesday, I saw eight dogs, and so on. A friend might ask you, how many dogs would you expect to see on any given day? We might choose to respond to this in a lot of different ways, like it depends on the day, or it depends on the week. But commonly the word expect is associated with the mean, or the average, of our data set. The mean is calculated as the sum of all of the values in our data set divided by how many data points we have. As you can see calculated here, this value is 12.57 dogs. That is, the sum of the number of dogs observed on each day divided by the number of days in a week. The mean isn't always the best measure of center. For this data set, you can see that the mean doesn't really seem like it's in the middle of the data at all. There are only two of the seven days that have recorded more dogs than the reported mean. It also is splitting our dogs into decimal values, which will seem strange when reporting back to our friend. 